Not that kind of Christian here. Let's begin from a slightly different perspective. There you go. Yes, it really is me again. Two videos combined into one from Stuart, our Suffolk Christian on YouTube, our Fundamentalist Christian on YouTube, his channel again, I'll give him the airtime, messages for our time. Recent two messages, he's been leading a little bit with his... God doesn't like homosexuals, I don't like homosexuals, and now his word, he always chooses homosexual rather than gay, but the latest one apparently seems to be from a video he put out later, later, I mean earlier this week, in fact yesterday, there's a new boy on the block in sort of um, Jewish rabbinic, rabbinic teaching, and he's called Rabbi Shlomo. Now, Stuart's a little bit worried because he thinks when we come to pinning the tail on the Antichrist, it could be Rabbi Shlomo. Yeah, Orthodox Jew, I believe. But you see, what convinces Stuart is it could be is that the guy's getting loads of admiration. He's getting really popular. He's, he's kind of drawing people in. He's drawing the crowds and everything. And uh, Stuart is, though, just a little bit concerned as well, because it had been hinted that Shlomo there might be a closet homosexual. Married, but obviously Stuart has been told that he might have married in his 20s just to cover up being secretly gay. The other one is from... It's somebody else. Um, we'll also point out that this young man was married at the age of 20. So uh, he could, as somebody has put, as one of the uh, people have pointed out on the video that I'll put on the community tab for you, has said that, well, he could be a closet homosexual, which is very possible. But uh, he has godlike status in his mind. Adulation that he was receiving, and he began to think about the, uh, the power of groupthink. That um, everybody is of one mind, one thought, and one idea. And this morning I thought about uh, Freddie Mercury. I watched an interview with him uh, some years ago and people were asking him, I think, about heaven and hell. What he thought of the afterlife. I'm not quite sure of the context of the interview, but uh, his words were, I would rather go to hell because there'd be more interesting people there. And uh, I began to think to myself, well, well, you can't really do else but serve God in that way. It's reasonable for you to give your heart and mind to him, not to be conformed to the image that they're trying to squeeze you into. The global image. The carbon free image. The woke image. The LGBTQXYZ image. Whatever you call it. Man will try to squeeze you into his mold. It's interesting, isn't it, with these groups, how they all start up small and then they have very loud voices. It reminds me of Adolf Hitler in the beer halls. He used to go into the beer halls in Munich and uh, he used to sit with a group of people and his voice was the loudest. 